If you've ever wondered what sign does, it's this like little thing where it like you enter in values and outputs values and before you know about anything about it, it's actually pretty useless. Once you learn about it, it's like you could do really cool stuff with it. So it seems like when you enter in random numbers, oops. It outputs random values, but there's actually some sense to it. Now, pretend like this is like a directional value. The top is 90, here is zero, here is negative 180, and here is negative 90. Okay, like normal direction thing. Now, pretend this is a Y position. So this is like from negative one. It's from negative from negative one to one, okay? And this is from 90 to negative 19 to negative 80 to zero, okay, you got it. Now, if you put 90, the y position of the ball is gonna match up with one, right? 90 is gonna match up with one. If you put zero, zero, the direction zero is gonna match up with the y position zero. If you put negative 90, it's gonna match up with the direction negative one. If you put 45 degree angle, it's gonna be somewhere like, it's gonna be a decimal right somewhere over here. And if you put negative 180, well, that's like matches up with zero. That's basically how fine work, sign work. I'm gonna demonstrate some of its ways you can use it. So I'm gonna create a new sprite. I'm gonna call it like, up and down, and we're gonna have a ball. And I'm gonna make it go up and down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a thing called direction. I'm gonna have a variable called direction, and that's gonna be the input to the sign. Also, to demonstrate what we were talking about, if you input 90 to the sign, it's gonna match up with one, and it's gonna be one, right here. So, we're gonna make it so that it goes, the ball goes up and down. And the way you do that is, you have a variable called direction, and every frame, it changes by one. And I'm just gonna show you, if we print sign, a sign of direction. If we, I mean, say sign of direction. Print, not print. If we say sign of direction, it's gonna, direction is gonna look like that, and sign is gonna look like that. Um, and then you can actually multiply this to make it a y value. And if you multiply this times, 20? I don't know. It's going to move up and down. If you want to make it go faster, you just make the direction go faster. It's way too fast. That's also way too fast. So it goes up and down. Let me just do something. Okay. So now we have a ball that goes up and down, up and down really useful because if you were to track the reason sign also looks like a wave is because if you were to track the y position and basically just draw it it would look like a wave so that is what sign looks like